Fox is your typical success story of a family-owned motocross business in the USA based on innovation, hard work and good quality. Well, now it's owned by a private equity company that sells Fox products, mostly made in China and other Asian countries, in more than 50 countries around the world. Wallets, sunglasses, hoodies, socks, hats, bags and motorbike gear. Our question is whether Fox has dropped the ball with quality and customer support now that they are a multinational corporation. A quick Google search certainly finds some riders are happy with Fox gear, but there are quite a few complaints about a perceived drop in quality over the years. A check in our local store revealed that every Fox boot was made in China. And again, while some riders are happy with their Fox boots, an alarming number report issues. I have been looking at other brands too. Unfortunately, Fox is not the only brand experiencing problems as manufacturing gets moved to Asia, Eastern European countries, and even Africa. My experience with Fox body armor was limited because the zipper broke early on. I checked the label and of course it had the usual made in China. These easily broken zips seem to be a very common problem. And then helmets. My Fox ProFrame helmet split completely through after a mild impact against an earth embankment. As usual, the hidden label had the made in China message in microscopic size. Our channel has focused on helmet safety a lot over the past two years. So six months ago, I sent Fox the following questions. Fox said this was passed to the relevant department. They would be in touch shortly. Since then, zip. Nothing. Nada. Despite repeated email reminders and a publicly released video about this issue. It appears the helmet is well known for cracking open easily and a quick Google search also found this case where the chin bar broke and caused facial injuries in an allegedly mild crash. Apparently it took four months to even respond to that case. Also, keep an eye out for rusted brackets on Fox motorbike helmets. We have had four cases reported to us in one case after only 10 hours of use. And finally, just a quick note on support. Much can be forgiven if a manufacturer provides rapid support when there is a quality control issue. But we have certainly been disappointed with Fox not even bothering to reply to our questions. A quick look through Fox's own feedback page shows a significant number of other unhappy customers too. We are still hoping Fox will respond. We will put any response in a pinned first comment for the YouTube video or in the original text if you are watching this on Facebook. Let us know your experience with Fox gear, the good, the bad or the ugly.